Hey guys, I just got to work. Um, I'm like hella freaking high right now. <clears throat> Let me turn this shit off. Okay, so man, I'm like so full. I ate Rosati's pizza. If you're from Chicago, then you need to try a Rosati's pizza. That is so fucking fire. Like they're mushrooms. I don't know like if you guys like mushrooms on your pizza, but I love mushrooms on my pizza. And their mushrooms are like so good. Like I hate the fried ones. I mean the canned ones. Um, like from Beggar's Pizza, they be using canned mushrooms. Like, no. <laughs> but we just gonna go inside now, y'all. Before I fucking run out of time to get ready, cause I definitely need to redo my makeup. Yeah, maybe. True. True, true, true. Okay, so apparently the lights went out at my club, so they have like these lamps going on or whatever. And I'm like, should we still get dressed? And the house mom's like, um, to like hang loose or whatever, but we'll see. Um, I'm basically just gonna chill for right now, I guess, because I don't want to get dressed and shit. Unless I know for sure, which hopefully because today is Saturday and you know, Saturdays are like our best days, girl. So, yeah. Still here. I don't know, if they don't fix this shit like within the hour, then I'm just gonna go home because, yeah, I'm not gonna stick around that long if it's gonna be like this whole issue, you know, so. So your girl is off work. It is about to be three o'clock. Um, today was like not such a good day at work. Um, there was a few people, but I feel like only a certain amount were actually like throwing out cash and actually getting some dances. Um, but I did want to go ahead and talk about something because I wasn't gonna bring this situation into the light, but. I'm sorry, I'm a little out of breath because I literally just danced my ass off, went on stage, and then I changed and I had to fucking run around for like my dancer drink monies and now I'm here. <laughs> so, yeah, so I wanted to bring the situation into the light just because I really wasn't going to, but someone commented on one of my videos saying that, um, you know, something about like, oh, I seen, I seen Martin, um, something about a text message or something so obviously i'm gonna go to this video and be like what is what is this person talking about so let me just start by saying that i am not the type of person to bash anyone or to talk shit and i'm not saying this to bash or talk shit about marty mar because i mean yeah i'm just not that type and moving forward um I peeped a little bit of his video, but I didn't watch like the whole thing. I kind of like skimmed through it because <clears throat> yeah. So anyways, basically in his video, I heard that, or he said like, oh, me and Jennifer V are not talking because she said some shit that like pissed me off or something. I don't think he told you guys what I said, but I'm going to tell you guys straight up. If you guys don't believe me, or if you guys are on his side or whatever, you guys want to take sides or whatever, that's on you guys. I mean... Either way, you know, we're gonna still keep it going, you know what I mean? But I just wanted to clear the air and clear my name because I just, I don't know, I just felt some type of way, like just seeing that video. It's just like, like wow, people. Yeah, so anyways, um, what I said was um, after the whole CJ video dropped or whatever, um, some people, not everyone, cause a lot of people are actually like, you know, being like positive comments and stuff like that. But 
there was like a conversation going on there some shit like that like a comment saying like oh these are like not baddies or something like that something like that i don't remember what it is but yeah so then um like you know they kept like laughing about it or something so i had texted martin i'm just like oh um and then the title was like something about um oh i wasn't feeling these girls or something like that so i just felt some type of way because if they were never to put that title that negative ass title then you know his supporters weren't like his supporters would have never bagged on us the way that they did you know what i mean so after that i kind of texted martin i'm just like um oh like what the fuck did i say this was a few days ago you guys um fuck what did i say if he if he showed you guys a message then you know then he showed you guys but um i just hope that he showed you guys the right message and like exactly what the conversation was because i don't want him to like talk shit about me you know like there's no reason to talk shit about me or just like you know add fuel to the fire you know what i mean and i'm not saying like oh we're like fighting and shit like that we just like we're we fell off you know so anyways <clears throat> so anyways like i was saying sorry there was like a car right here um i had texted him and i said oh um i'm like getting distracted because they're like looking at me <laughs> What the fuck did I say? What did I say? Fuck. I'm trying to like think exactly what I said. And I'm using my um, phone so I can't even pull up the text message. But I said like, oh, um. I said like a few text messages, but it was not like coming at him, you know? But the only thing that really like made him feel some type of way i guess was like that i had said um oh anything for clout huh like oh oh i know what i said i had texted him like um man now you guys got people blowing up my um youtube talking shit you know because his people were like coming on my youtube my youtube talking shit like oh um trying to say that i was trying to go for cj like why was i acting brand new with martin or something like that and then i want to clear that out either um, some people are saying that I was acting funny towards Martin because I met CJ or something and you guys are like pumping it up like oh um, she wanted CJ this and that but why I don't get how or why you guys think that I would want CJ I just don't I'm not talking shit about CJ at all you know I mean I'm not talking shit about anybody but I'm just saying like why do you guys think that I want CJ why because he has money because he has like all this material shit because honestly life is there's so much more things to life than material stuff and if you guys have been watching my youtube videos then you guys already know the type of person that i am and material shit will never make me switch up ever 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 like ever i just want to make that very fucking clear because yeah there's just i would never switch up on somebody for material stuff and like i just don't i just think that people think that i wanted cg or some shit because of that and that's just not the case at all okay so moving back to the conversation i was having so yeah then i told martin oh um anything for clout huh which um then he said like oh um who are you talking to or like what the fuck did he say fuck i don't even remember what he said but i don't want to like screenshot it and put it on here because it's like too you know much and i don't want to keep adding fuel to the fire i'm just trying to clear out my name this is exactly why i'm telling you guys i'm just trying to clear it like my name so anyways um he was like oh who are you talking to like what are you talking about blah blah i'm just like you guys you're bringing your people and they're talking shit about like the whole situation trying to twist my words and like trying to make it seem like i'm this type of person and i'm not and it's just the fact that like you know, he really didn't have my back when they were talking all this shit. And it's just like, wow, like, I guess, you know? So then I just put, like, the thumbs up, like, okay, like, just that's it, the emoji, thumbs up. And then um, I guess, like, two days later or something. I think this happened, like, two days later, actually. But um, I guess, like, it bothered me, you know? I don't know why. I'm just, like, this type of person that's always in my head. And I just, like, I wanted to clear the room before between me and him you know what i mean because i did see him talking shit a little bit on facebook on like comments or something and i'm just like i don't understand like 
why there's no need to talk shit like i don't understand like i really don't understand because <sighs> it wasn't that serious you know like i thought we were better than that i thought we were cooler than that i don't know but yeah i'm just that's all i'm gonna say but anyways um i kept like thinking about it i'm just like man i just want to clear the the air between me and him to him you know but i honestly didn't think that he would go so public with this because it's really like a one-on-one -on -one conversation you know what i mean like we're all grown and i feel like we should have handled this in an adult way i mean i feel like i did honestly and i'm gonna tell you guys why so i was thinking about it and then i hit him back up and it was like a long message um basically saying that and if you guys like don't believe me i mean that's on you guys like i said but i'm not gonna do too much that we're like i have to screenshot it and like you know put it up there because <sighs> i mean there's no reason to lie but the long message said like um fuck it was like really long oh basically it was saying like hey i just wanted to get this off my chest um when when i said anything for clout i didn't mean that you guys were getting clout off me because clearly not what i meant was anything for clout like you guys didn't have to use that title because now his people are getting on me for no reason like they're trashing my youtube basically you know what i mean i mean martin always told me like if you don't like something that someone says on your comments or whatever just delete it you know and that got in my head i'm just like you're right you know and i'm gonna get to another part which that reminded me of <sighs> but yeah and then i basically said like i didn't mean like anything for clout like that like you know what i mean and then i was like um fuck i forgot what i was gonna say i don't even remember what i said but yeah so then um it was just like well i just wanted to like I'm not writing you because, you know, this and that, and I want to be close and stuff like that. I'm writing you just to let you know, like, I hope there's no hard feelings and just like, um, thank you for, oh, you know what I did say? I was like, um, I've always told you that I'm going to support you, um, through your journey, no matter what, because I know how hard you work. And, um, also thank you for showing me things on YouTube, because if you guys know, I've been doing YouTube for a minute now, be way before I met Martin. You know what I mean? The only reason that we started talking was because he asked me if I wanted to collab. And you guys, someone said, oh, he doesn't need you, you need him. And it's like, how, why do I need him? I mean, no, not like trying to talk shit, but like, why, because he has more followers? What's, so what? Like anybody could get there, you know? You guys could get there if you want, you know what I mean? All you gotta do is like push yourself but yeah so i was just like thank you for showing me stuff on youtube because like i said i was doing youtube for a minute way before i met martin but little things like he really motivated me you know he really showed me things and showed me like how to work on numbers and just like stuff like that so so i told him in that same message like i i appreciate you and um basically like i wish you like a good life you know what i mean but it's just like wow like after that whole like oh i'm always gonna support you and i i wish you a good life just to turn around and have him make a video saying that i am the one that fucked everything up and i am the one that this and that and trying to just make me look like the bad person and i honestly don't appreciate that I don't know, I just thought we were better than that and I thought we were grown, you know what I mean? And one thing that really made me mad was he said, oh, um, I was trying to work on the relationship, this and that, but honestly, guys, like, I was not looking for a relationship at all whatsoever. But then, like, how we met was on Facebook and he was, like, blowing my shit up all the fucking time. And I honestly wasn't interested. Like, you know, I knew he did YouTube, I knew that he, his numbers were up there, I knew like all this shit. But that wasn't shit to me, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna go chase you just because of your numbers on YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, that's just not me. So I was just like pushing it away or whatever until like one day he hit me up or like whatever the fuck. And then that night we were on the phone and we were talking like numbers and business and stuff like that. 
and then um yeah he was like all right you're gonna come over we're gonna do a video for your channel a video for my channel and then that's it so then um we were like oh, okay yeah cool and he was like oh well i actually want to take you out and i was just like uh nah. you know as nice as possible because you know i'm not a bitch so i was like no it's okay i mean let's just keep it professional let's keep it business you know let's just create our content and just be cool you know what i mean but then like I don't know talking to him over the phone like he seemed like a real cool guy so i was just like you know f it like you know let's go do something then like i'm taking your offer so that's where that whole video where we went out to eat that very first video that i dropped on my channel with him that's where that came from so what was i even getting at <laughs> I don't know basically i just want to say that i appreciated him for like showing me things but it's just like people just really i don't know i just feel like he oh yeah that's where i was getting at um like the whole relationship thing i was not interested before you know so then like i started getting to know him in person and like it wasn't about the looks you know what i mean it was more about like the connection we had and like the creativity that we had because we literally and just like the personality you know what i mean as y'all saw like we linked and we clicked really good so that kind of just like made me fall for him i guess and i'm opening up like a lot you guys i know he doesn't really open up or whatever or just tries to like push his emotions but you know yeah so then i started following for him and then he like told me straight up and like he was like falling for me too but then he told me straight up one day and he was like oh you know i'm not really looking for a relationship right now and blah 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 and one thing led to another and we were just like okay cool you know i wasn't looking for a relationship either until i met him and then i was like oh okay but then he laid it out clear you know like he doesn't want a relationship i'm like okay cool so he was like why don't we just like continue to be what we are and just like be real cool real tight and just make bomb ass content together and i was just like oh like that's cool you know like let's do it but he was the one that said he did not want a relationship you guys he was the one that said he does not want a relationship and it's just the fact that he said i tried everything in the book um what did he say i tried to i tried all these things that a good relationship would have and it still didn't work and it's just like who are you talking about not me <laughs> not me you ain't talking about our relationship or like or not a relationship because we didn't have a relationship but i know you're not talking about our situation because if i can recall then you know what <sighs> that's besides the point Ooh. but yeah that's besides the point and yeah but that really just made me mad just the fact that he said that he tried and like you know like i just felt like it made it seem like he was the one trying this whole time and i wasn't because that is not the situation because i calmed my shit down because he kind of pushed me away and said like what i got from it was like oh i want to be your friends with benefits and honestly i don't know how i feel about that so that's why i started pushing away but we were still cool so you know what I mean? Like, he was the one, like, well, not the only one because I would, like, offer to come over too. But, you know, we would just kick in and do videos together. So, like, what the heck? Oh, shit. So then, um, yeah, so then he told me, like, oh, like, friends with benefits pretty much. He didn't say friends with benefits, but that's basically what he was, like, you know, saying. So, yeah, that's why I calm my shit down and that's why in CJ's video... I look like I I wasn't trying to push myself away like in the couch or whatever. Hold on. Oh. But um Oh hell no, he finna look at my weed. Oh wait, no, never mind. <clears throat> That's a security guard right there. Where is he going? But yeah, I wasn't trying to push myself away like I guess in the video it does look like I'm not trying to sit by him but only because the camera's like in my face right here and I didn't want to be like the main focus because that's not my channel and like you know what I mean but yeah so there's that that's why I look like I didn't want to like be all up on him and I stated that in the video oh I'm not trying to be all up on you because 
you know this and that like i stated that in the video so i don't know why people are acting shook or brand new you know what i mean i just don't but yeah so that's why i started like acting like not like distant but distant you know we're still handling our business with our content but like on a personal level i wanted to kind of shift my feelings away from him you know what i mean just because he told me straight up like oh i wasn't ready and this and that which i totally understand like i never said anything about him not being ready or anything like that because i understand you know what i mean but yeah basically that's that um then we kind of just agreed like we're both not ready for a relationship and we said that in multiple videos like we're not ready for a relationship you know what i mean but I don't know i just hope that you guys don't see me as a bad person or like someone that did him bogus because honestly i'm gonna tell you guys straight up like this year has changed me a lot a lot a lot a lot and yeah like i'm gonna this is probably gonna be the last time i talk about martin because i'm just not gonna add fuel to the fire you know what i mean if he wants to talk shit about me or like talk negative or something like that because i have been peeping like his little comments that's just you know whatever <sighs> but you know i mean i'm just i don't know i'm just not gonna i guess pay attention to it you know i gotta keep moving we gotta keep moving the grind don't stop you know that's one thing that he did teach me and i i'm the type of person that really does believe that everything happens for a reason and everyone comes into your life for a reason you know like i don't know what the reason was but i honestly feel like the reason that martin came to my life was to pick me back up like to put me back on my feet because i've always done youtube but like he really like motivated me and drilled that shit in my head like wake up like i thought i was woke and that's what i told him too and i was like i thought i was woke but you woke me up so for that i'm grateful you know what i mean but then like he texted back some something like oh um i just didn't uh like how you came at me or something like that um what else did he say what else did he say i don't know but towards the end of the message he kind of just tried to like make jokes like I'm being grown about it. I'm talking to you and I'm telling you straight up, like I'm always gonna support you and like this and that and you're gonna come. I don't know, I just didn't like what he texted back, like at all. I'm just like, what? But yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna talk shit. Like I said, it is what it is. You guys can believe whoever you want or whatever it is. Like, you know, life is gonna keep going, you know? um this is youtube like this is real life but not everything you hear and see on youtube is real you're gonna like meet a lot of fake people and a lot of real people but just don't assume that you know everything just because you see a clip you know what i mean like because y'all really don't know like y'all really don't know but yeah i mean there's just nothing to it you know what i mean it's not like i said anything else that's kind of just where the depart went just because he got mad that i said that and you know and i'm not gonna i don't know i mean i really don't got nothing else to say you know i just wanted to get that off my chest because i really don't like how he said how he's trying to perceive himself as like this person that like really tried his best with me and like this and that and like i don't know that i did something really really bad because i didn't you know i don't know not everything has to be about social media you know why bring this to social media i don't know but nevertheless the grind is gonna keep going and if you guys want to follow me on my journey then you already know by the way, this is my makeup. Mm, look at that crusty ass lipstick. I'm not gonna cut my money right now, you guys, just because, dude, if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, then y'all already know that there be some creeps just pulling up on me. And yeah, but I am looking into getting my Floyd card and getting a Gat, um, a little cute one, you know, a little pink one, you know what I'm saying? 
but comment if I should if that's like a good idea or like whatever or like some information about it if you have it like any type of information all the fucking information because I really want to know about it and then I will probably be doing vlogs in like the the gun range that'll be pretty fucking cool but nevertheless you know uh, we just chilling right here. Uh, I'm about to get baked. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go home right now, you guys. Um, change, well, actually take a shower. And yeah, I'm really freaking tired. Like, my body hurts so, so bad. I'm probably gonna have to get those, um, the salt water things, those Dr. Teal or something. I feel like they don't work though. Like, bathing in it I really feel like it doesn't work and I need something really 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 strong and I've dumped the whole bag in there I know you're not supposed to dump the whole bag but it got to the point where it wasn't even working so I had to dump the whole bag you know but anyways um yeah so this is my money bag right here my hair you'll see it's fat like fat fat let me not hold it up because my ass gonna get robbed <laughs> that shit is not funny let me stop laughing but yeah so with that being said i really hope that you guys continue on this journey with me um i mean walk this life with me i guess see the struggles i stumble into and the success that i walk into um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys for your support and I will see you guys in the next one.